Hello, this is meteorologist Pete Wolf at the National Weather Service office in Jacksonville, Florida with a weather hazards briefing for northeast Florida and southeast Georgia covering the period through Christmas Eve. Today we have a storm system intensifying over the southern plains. The satellite image shows the system developing over Texas and Oklahoma. You can even see a swirl in the clouds over northern Texas reflective of low pressure developing there. The storm system is pretty expansive, covering areas all the way to the southeastern Atlantic coast. We see a broad area of clouds and showers and thunderstorms from the Gulf of Mexico across the Florida Panhandle and into southern Georgia. In fact, this is an area where heavier rainfall is expected today through tonight. The radar image on the right shows the rainfall primarily along and north of a surface warm front, which is situated basically along the Florida-Georgia border, and it's moving northward. In terms of watches, warnings, and advisories in effect right now, we have a flood watch west of our area of responsibility covering the Florida Panhandle and southwestern Georgia due to the potential for heavy rain. Now, some of that heavier rainfall may move into the western parts of our southeastern Georgia counties. Uh, we're not anticipating a significant flood threat, but there could be localized flooding, particularly in areas with poor drainage. So later today into tonight, we expect the storm system to start progressing eastward. Uh, the most widespread rainfall will be north of the warm front that will be moving northward across central and southern Georgia. Also widespread rainfall to the west of our area, but we'll see some showers and thunderstorms even in our area of responsibility, the best chance uh, being the further west you go. So for our particular area, again, we're looking at the more widespread and heavier rainfall being over the more interior parts of southeast Georgia and the Suwannee Valley region of northeast Florida, with the rainfall more isolated as you go south and east. There is a potential for a few strong thunderstorms, the best chance of that again in the westernmost counties of our area of responsibility. Now looking ahead to tomorrow for Christmas Eve, the system continues to progress eastward. The cold front associated with the system moves eastward over the Gulf of Mexico towards the Florida Peninsula. We expect a band of showers and thunderstorms ahead of the front to move across southern Georgia and the Florida Peninsula during the day into Wednesday evening. By Christmas Day, we expect the system to sweep offshore leading to a pretty nice day for our area. Rainfall potential, we're looking at the potential for significant rainfall in parts of our area through Wednesday. This image shows that the greatest rainfall is expected to be over the far interior parts of southeast Georgia and the Suwannee River Valley area of northeast Florida with pretty good amounts of uh, two to four inches additional, uh, maybe even locally heavier than that. This should not lead to widespread flooding by any means, but certainly some localized flooding, particularly in areas with poor drainage, uh, could be expected with this type of rainfall. You see the rainfall amounts go down considerably as you move south and east. For the potential for strong or severe thunderstorms, through tonight the better chances west of our area of responsibility from the Florida Panhandle westward. There's a potential for a few marginally intense storms with uh, small hail and gusty winds, particularly along and north of the warm front over uh, southern Georgia. For Wednesday, with the line of showers and thunderstorms with the cold front, we might see a marginal threat for some storms approaching severe levels with some small hail and potentially gusty winds of 40 to 60 miles per hour, and that could be enough to do minor damage. Uh, best chance of that is uh, throughout the day, starting uh, over our western areas during the morning, uh, moving across the eastern areas of our area of responsibility during the afternoon and early evening. So in summary, we expect a significant rainfall event for parts of our area, particularly over interior southeast Georgia and the Suwannee River Valley region of northeast Florida, where two to four inches of rain is certainly possible. Uh, we expect the potential for localized flooding, but not necessarily a widespread threat. There's a potential for a few strong storms through Wednesday. The best chance through tonight will be over the interior part of southeast Georgia and the Suwannee River Valley region of northeast Florida, with the primary threat being strong winds. For Wednesday, the potential for strong winds with storms spreads across the Florida Peninsula and southern Georgia ahead of a cold front. We also cannot rule out some hail and even the threat for a brief tornado with the strongest storms in the line. The precipitation threat should gradually end from west to east Wednesday night, leading to a nice weather day on Christmas. For the latest weather information, please stay with the National Weather Service through our website or our Facebook page. Thank you.